right, you guys, in today's video, what I wanted to go over is quick detailer. Um, this is a secret I learned from a painter um, about five years ago. And what he told me, what he does with quick detailer is he dilutes it down. The mixture that it comes from is already too strong. So he dilutes it down with half water. And I'm gonna show you why that works a lot better. Not only does the product last a lot longer, but it's much easier to use. The haze doesn't stay as long when you're using it. So um, when you dilute it down with water, when you do, the haze goes away faster and it just works much better. So it makes the product last a lot longer for you. And for me, this has just been a better solution, diluting it down. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to a new part of the new part of the fam. This little monster right here, my little nine week old Boston Terrier. Come out here and introduce yourself, Blazer. Here he is. What's up, dude? So this is my nine week old Boston Terrier. He was born on 420. So I had no choice but to name him Blaze. And to keep it classy, we call him Blazer because he looks like he has a nice little blazer on. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Show him what you look like. Yeah, world's cutest puppy right there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. All right, so what we're going to do here is a little party out by the pool. I'm going to get out there here in a second on the 4th of July. Hey, 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 Blaze. All right, so all you're going to do is you're going to buy one of the 32 ounce containers. And see, so this one's empty, so this is, I've already gotten done using it. Because you want to make sure you never ever dry wipe your car. That's how you get uh, scratches in the, <clears throat> scratches and swirls in the clear coat. So you're going to take this half right here, and you're going to dump it in here. Hey. Hey. Hey, Boston. What are you doing? No, no. No, no, don't you drink any of that. Hey, quit. Quit. Well, spilled everywhere. Jeez. Hey, nope, nope, nope. And then all you're gonna do is take this and put some water in it and fill it to the top. And this is a good trick that I learned from a painter. Don't you jump off there, little Boston. So this is how you get it to make sure that the quick detailer lasts longer. And then I'm gonna go out to the car right now and show you what I mean by the haze that's left behind. So when you spray it on, you wipe and then there's this haze and that's when you take the rag and do the dry wipe and that pulls the haze off and that gives that a little polish, a little quick detail. All right, you guys, welcome to my collection of cars. Two Aston Martins, a 70 Stingray Corvette, and a Noble. Yeah, right, I'm just kidding. I wish I could get an Aston Martin. It's actually one of the cars I really do want to get. I'd like to get a DB9. Um, you can pick up a DB9 for like 40 grand. The DB9 has the V12 in it. I'd love to take out the catalytic converters and really make that puppy scream. So what we're gonna to discuss today is how to properly use the spray detailer. So before using the spray detailer, you wanna make sure all the dust is off the car. So the California duster I always use first before ever spraying on the spray detailer because you don't wanna take any of the dust and rub it into the clear coat. That's how you get love swirls and scratches into the clear coat, which takes polish to get that out. So if you do the steps properly in between a polish and wax, your paint will look amazing for a lot longer. So before ever spraying on any spray detailer, we're gonna take this California duster, which it has like, I believe these fibers are soaked in a carnauba wax that absorbs the dust. It like attracts it with static. So very lightly take it like this over the car, back and forth, very lightly over the paint. And that'll get all the dust off. You wanna make sure all the dust is off before you go ahead and spray on any spray detailer. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the trick with the spray detailer, which obviously I showed you guys how to dilute it down to make it last a little longer and work better, is you need to make sure you have two clean rags, one for the spray detailer and the other one to wipe. You wanna make sure you don't have a rag after you get done wiping if it has dirt left behind it in like this. Because if you wipe it and you see dirt in the microfiber rag at all, and then you wipe it again on the paint, you're wiping that dirt into the clear coat. It's very key, you always have a clean rag. 
that's uh, how you do it properly. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do it. Again, I've been doing this a very long time, so I think I've got it down pretty damn well. So first, like I said, you want two rags. One that's specifically just for wiping the haze off, the other one just specifically for the product. So we're gonna take this, and I spray it on the paint. Just go like this, a couple sprays on the paint. You're gonna take your microfiber towel, the one that's used for the product. You're gonna go ahead and just wipe very lightly across the surface, very lightly. You're not trying to press in at all because you don't want to rub anything into the clear coat. So now after you wipe it like that, you're going to take the, the dry rag, because there's a haze left behind, and you just go like this. Right? So then I do half a section at a time. Like I just did that, and then I would do this other half over here. Because the stuff dries very fast. And then you take the dry rag and you push, polish the haze right off. You just very lightly go back and forth and across, just like that. Oh, and if, uh, so yeah, that's how I do quick detailer. And that's why my paint looks after 13 years, unbelievable. And real quick, I've been talking with Andrew. Here's the M3 that we're gonna get together and show you guys what'll happen. I think now after he did some research on my car, he's uh, kind of scared he's going to lose. So uh, he still wants to do it. We just haven't got the time to do it. But we're going to get together and we're going to see what happens because he likes my car and I really like his E46 M3. So stay tuned. That race is still coming, guys. And I hope that really helps you guys understand how to use spray detailer so you can make sure that your car is looking absolutely the best it possibly can in between waxes. So I hope my little trick helped you guys, and that'll do it for today's video. And like always, I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching my channel. See you guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Arr. If there's any tip I'd say about Boston's as a puppy, they like to get in between your feet. So you gotta be careful walking around. This little monster, he just, he'll trip you up and he, being as light as he is, you can hurt him. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah. Have Boston Terrier life. What's up, buddy? Blaze. Blaze, what are you doing? Are you a little blazer? Sit down. Sit down for a second. What's up, dude? Where are you going? You off the party? You party animal? <laughs> well, you got stuff in your eye, dude. Hold on here. Get that out for you. So, this is my nine week old Boston Terrier. Striking a pose, doing a Boston's deal. <laughs> Later. <laughs>